Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll be doing another Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine reading. If you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe. Also, join membership if you'd like to. It's just the join button below this video or in the description box. Um, and I will definitely be posting there after this video with some additional messages for this reading. So if it does resonate, definitely join. Um, I post there most of the time, almost after every video. Um, with all of the extended so you get access to all of that if you do join um so yeah and it really also helps support the channel so thank you to everyone who has joined um it really does uh mean a lot to me guys um and then yeah i also have a link in the description box if you guys ever want to donate to the channel or um in amazon wishlist as well um again it really does help me to continue to put out videos for you guys um, so thank you. Also, I'm sorry I took a little bit of a break from posting videos for a couple days. I was seeing family, <laughs> um, so I didn't want to be uh, posting readings. Also, no one in my family knows I post readings, so that's also why <laughs> um, I took a little bit of a break. I'm sorry if you hear my cat in the background. Again, he's just being very obnoxious today because it's nice outside. He wants to go out for a walk and yeah, I am not taking him at this current moment. He goes out enough times. So anyways, uh, we're going to get into this reading. Um, this reading is actually interesting. It's a little bit more about divine feminine than divine masculine today. Um, although there is both in this reading, uh, if you are interested so we're going to get into it. Um, basically, what I'm seeing is that kind of on both sides, there's a little bit of a like defeated energy right now, or at least there was. Um, mainly on Divine Feminine side, I feel um, it's kind of like at some point, this Divine Feminine, like I see them gathering information there's something that you saw um like you may have been looking up this divine masculine social media or may have just like heard something online or seen something somewhere it doesn't have to be online um some kind of information i see kind of like let you down a little bit or like i don't know made you a little bit upset like when you saw whatever this was um, or it kind of just like discouraged you a little bit like if you thought this masculine was you know coming towards you or something it's kind of like whatever this was sort of knocked you back a little bit. You're kind of like, oh, well, then I guess he doesn't like me or something like that. Or like, why am I still putting all my effort into this if I saw this? It's kind of like that energy. Um, and this also, guys, um, could have happened in the past. It doesn't have to be right now that this happened. This could be just picking up on past energy. Because remember in tarot, timing is not important um tarot can be past present and future uh timing is a human concept so please remember that um so yeah this could have been something that happened in the past but i'm seeing like you were on this journey of trusting your intuition you are very much you're someone who is very intuitive like you are very powerful i feel that way you always show up as a high priestess in these readings you are the empress like you're very knowledgeable, you trust yourself, you trust your gut instincts, and that's what you've been doing for a long time now, I see. But there came this point where you saw something, I feel, in like the 3D world, the physical world, this was something you saw or heard, um, or just, I don't know, you got discouraged by something, and it kind of put you back, and then you got into this mindset of like, like you kind of started rethinking everything, and you got a little bit confused. You were like, I thought that this masculine was determined to come towards me like I thought he was like traveling my way that I know I don't know like your intuition has been telling you that you feel something is coming towards you that you feel this masculine is your person something like that but then when this happened you became very confused you're very like I don't know now like you're questioning yourself you're questioning your intuition in this reading is what I'm seeing um which is, I feel different for you because you're someone who's been very strongly following your intuition, very positive, very, um, you know, like forward determined energy. But in this reading, you're right here. You're, you're kind of like at this crossroads of like, wait, so like, has my intuition been wrong all along? Like you're questioning yourself. You're like, is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, am I supposed to be doing something else? I don't know. And I feel like part of it too is like you're like maybe I should be focusing more on myself rather than this which I think is also very important um but yeah you're at this crossroads you're like do I keep 
hoping that this is going to happen or do I give up? Because you're starting to feel like this is never ending. It's kind of like this cycle is going on forever. You're tired of waiting for something to happen. Like we have three wands here. This is all about waiting. And we keep seeing the boat in these pictures too. I feel like you're waiting for someone to travel to you, for someone to show up at your door, um, for a message to come in. And it just hasn't come yet. And you're like, I don't know if this is worth waiting for anymore. Like I'm starting to feel like maybe I'm crazy. I don't know if this is worth it. <laughs> um, is my Has my intuition been wrong all along? But in this reading, I'm also seeing like you're kind of going through this whole process during this reading. Like it's a bit of back and forth energy here. And um, I ultimately see though you're going through some kind of awakening. I kind of feel like this is supposed to happen. Whatever this is that did happen, it might seem like something detrimental or uh, discouraging or like the total opposite of what you should be seeing in your physical world. But spirit saying in this message that whatever it is happened at exact divine timing and it was supposed to happen. Um, and this is something to do with like pushing you forward or um, almost like a test of your strength of will or something like that, I feel. Um, because I'm seeing it's some sort of awakening that you're going through. Like this is a process of your awakening process of your awakening process. Um, this is something pushing you forward. I don't know what this is, but I see you working through it. Like mentally, you're going to work through this. And ultimately, I see you moving forward and not giving up, at least for most of you. There's a few of you that may choose to, um, you know, walk away. Maybe you're like, I'm tired of waiting. I'm done with this. You know, I deserve better. And maybe that's part of your path because everyone's path is different. Remember, this is a general reading, but I'm seeing for a lot of you, you are going to stick with it. You're not going to give up, though this is going to get you down for maybe a few days or it did in the past. I see you getting back up and, you know, like persevering and trusting yourself, trusting your intuition. And I feel like that's what spirit wants you to do. Um, this process was basically meant to yeah, encourage you to be stronger in your intuition and to trust regardless of what you see in the physical world, to trust in the unseen, basically. Um, so that's why you were meant to see whatever this was. Again, this could have been like some sort of message you saw on social media or someone sent you something or you just saw a picture of something online or like, I don't know, or there was just a message that this masculine actually sent to you that discouraged you, something like that. Um, and again, like I said, this could have happened like in the past. It doesn't have to be right now. Um, but this is part of your process I'm seeing. This is like something spirit put in your path for a reason. Um, and again, for some of you, this could be, um, this could have been your sign to walk away. That was like your last straw and you're like, okay, well now I'm going to move on with my life. And maybe that's what you're supposed to do. Because for some of you, I feel like this was maybe a sign for you to focus more on yourself. Maybe if you've been putting all your energy into this masculine spirit saying like, you can still have faith that this will happen, but you can also go and uh, focus on your own life as well. Like remember to do things that make you happy and continue to live your life while you're manifesting this to happen. Um, because spirit's saying, uh, basically it's still, it's still in the process of manifestation, whether you believe it or not. Um, that's just what I'm seeing here. Um, you're, you're waiting on your happiness, but spirit's saying like, remember to find happiness in the moments that you do have right now, uh, regardless of this. But anyway, so I see basically you were deciding to mix it up. Like if you've been on the same journey of trusting your intuition for so long, all of a sudden something came along. It was like a bump in the road. You started questioning things. But uh, regardless of that, I just see you moving past it. Like you're going to move forward and you're going to keep persevering, even though it's hard for you and you're tired and you're like, oh, I don't want to wait anymore. But you're like, you know what? Something feels like it's meant to happen. And specifically, I was seeing in this reading, something about uh like someone's traveling to you or um you have these strong intense feelings like someone is coming back to you um a person from your past and you just know that 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 it's this person and you just trust that it's them and you really like feel it so intensely that you can't let go and that's your intuition talking i feel like it's something you desire and your desires are technically already yours if you believe in manifestation so um, you're continuing to trust that intuition because it has been there all along for you and you're not ready to give up on it, maybe not just yet. So that's what I'm seeing for the Divine Feminine side here. Um, and then in regards to a Divine Masculine, he also was kind of going through a bit of a um, defeated feeling. You know, it's kind of funny you guys are marrying each other a bit right now, I feel. Um, <laughs> but he's going through it, I feel, for slightly different reasons. Um, he recently, I'm still seeing, ended something with a group of karmic people or a specific karmic person, particularly, that's caused the most, I guess, feelings and drama. Um, 
but I also see like this person, this third party, uh, may try again to come back into this masculine's life, but he's at this point where he's very much putting up a wall now, like he's got boundaries. I don't see him letting this person back in. You see right here with the Nine of Wands, is someone guarding everything. They're guarding their Ten of Pentacles. They're guarding themselves. They're not going to easily let this person back in anymore. This masculine has like new standards now. Um, so yeah, I feel like he recently let go of something. I'm seeing like someone was cut off or is about to be, you know, remember timing's different for everyone, but um, tarot is often a little bit predictive too, I noticed, like for a even a few months ahead. So um, if he hasn't cut this person off yet, they're going to be cut off. Um, and I'm seeing when he does cut this per person off, um, there's this feeling of like lightness, of like um, liberation. He's feeling really good when he cuts this person off. Like, he's feeling almost like at ease finally again. Like, he can be himself again a little bit. He's feeling kind of positive. Um, he may be a little bit isolated, like, keeping to himself. I still see, like, he's keeping secrets, this masculine, guys. So when you are over here thinking, like, he has no feelings for you at all. He has not shown any signs of it. There's no evidence of it. You're like, I'm tired of waiting and seeing nothing. This masculine's over here keeping all the secrets. Like, guys, I'm seeing this reading. It's kind of annoying, but like, he's got so many feelings for you and they're so intense, but he's not expressing any of it. Like, it's all just being pushed down inside and it has to do with his ego as well, guys. Um, I'm still seeing there's a bit of ego here and I feel like that's why someone still needs to go through a bit of an awakening or like the last steps of an awakening here um, because they still have a little bit of ego kind of like, setting them back here um, because he wants to come forward. He wants to say something. This masculine also could have seen something online about you recently or something like that. I just keep picking up on um, recently seeing something online um, or a message or something or something that I almost feel like for him, it like encouraged him, something he saw online. I, I don't know, something like that. But basically he needs to overcome this last few steps of his ego to come towards you. And it has to do with him being just like, very anxious as well. I feel like he doesn't want to embarrass himself in front of you. He's very, very nervous around you. You make him nervous. Um, he has a lot of, this person could deal with a lot of anxiety themselves as well. Um, so yeah, I see him kind of stressing a bit. And then part of it has to do with this past situation as well. Like obviously he, he's been through the ringer with what we've seen in the past situations here, like dealing with karmic people all these people controlling his life and just ruining his finances and all these crazy things that we keep seeing in readings. I feel like he's just scared that something like that could happen again, potentially. But then he intuitively knows deep down, he's like, I don't think this is going to happen with this person. Like he knows, his intuition knows, guys. Like I'm telling you, regardless of what his ego is saying right now, what everything everyone else is saying, he knows deep down that you are like his future. Like he just feels like you are the one, that you won't do this to him, that you will be there for him, that it's going to work out intuitively. So um, I'm seeing like there's a path, there's a plan that he has. He's very detail oriented. Once again, I'm seeing that lots of planning, lots of making sure everything's perfect for whatever this is. Um, but he's nervous about it and nervous about speaking to you, uh, about what you'll say. So Anyways, he's in this like kind of weird mindset here, but then there's this friend who shows up here, or this could be a close friend or a very close family member here in his life. This is someone positive in his life, a good supporter. Um, I see them talking to this masculine. Sorry guys, I'm just gonna take a drink of water. <laughs> Yeah, so I see them talking to this masculine and they're having some kind of conversation about everything that's been going on. Um, I also was hearing, like, channel message, I was hearing uh, th that this person was saying you deserve better. So whatever this karmic person did to this masculine, this friend over here is like, you deserve better. Don't ever go back to that situation. But also, in terms of him moving forward and being nervous about this repeating, he's saying, like, just because this happened in the past with this person, it doesn't mean that this is going to happen with the same person in the future. Like, you like this is these are different people this doesn't have to be the same situation like you got to take that risk like i feel like this person is very encouraging whoever this is um they're a very positive person they're very wise as well very knowledgeable they know everything that's been going on with this masculine i feel like this is the person that he confides in the most probably 
um and whoever this is like they're advising him to move forward they're also um giving him like a pep talk i feel like they're giving him i keep getting stuff about comfort like they're very comforting whoever this person is and they're making this masculine feel more comfortable in his skin um more comfortable moving forward and they're acting like a catalyst to this masculine um so whoever this person is i feel like they they're like a third party but in a good way like they play a distinctive role in this situation here and i feel like spirit has something to do with it like i almost feel like spirit's working through this person like they are encouraging this masculine they're giving him more confidence they're giving him a talk about everything and they're telling him to go for it and just to you know make the moves do we gotta do uh stuff like that so this is a good person whoever this is and like they're like if you want this life that you've been dreaming of like i know this is what you want truly then you should go for it and this is like despite if this masculine has to sacrifice something like if he has to move he has to give up something else this person's saying like i would say take the risk like go for the risk um and that's what i'm seeing as well it's kind of funny spirit has like a whole plan laid out i feel spirit was kind of funny in this reading i just kept pulling cards about divine timing every time something happened spirit was like yep divine timing divine timing <laughs> like everything spirit is saying that there is no problem like if even if you feel like there's a problem or like oh my gosh my cat <laughs> come here no even if you feel like there's been a delay or a setback or a problem or this masculine feels away spirit's like no nope everything's working out exactly how it's supposed to like this was supposed to happen for that reason this is supposed to happen it was like it's like dominoes like everything is happening the way it's supposed to and spirit knows this but you just don't see the bigger picture right now but you will eventually i feel um so that's why things feel more dramatic in the moment but in the long haul i feel like it's all happening for a reason um so I feel like that's really beautiful. But also, yeah, I am seeing there's stuff about divine timing. I also was seeing for divine feminine. Luca, can you go down? Oh my gosh. I was also seeing for divine feminine though. Um, there is stuff about timing here. So in regards to time, um, you were getting tired of waiting. Like you were thinking, um, like how much longer am I going to have to wait for this? It's something like that. So spirit doesn't really work in terms of timing spirits like you know everything happens in perfect timing even though that's not your perfect timing spirits like it's happening um but you never know exactly when and i feel like that's really hard for this divine feminine you're kind of like tired of that but i feel like spirit's still saying to hang on regardless of this they're saying that um apparently something is playing out right now something is manifesting right now so it's very close to happening whatever this is and spirit is saying like please don't give up I feel like that is the strongest message right now from spirit is don't give up um on whatever this is like if you truly want it or you truly believe this is your future spirit saying do not give up on it stay positive regardless um of what you see in the physical like just please stay positive i feel like it's that that's the message for both you and this masculine um because yeah i do see this masculine like he is determined to do this at all costs like, he's determined to come towards you and tell you how he feels at all costs um, he is fighting for this. Um, he's going to share something with you. And this includes... Luca. Okay. <laughs> this includes, like, expressing everything to you. Expressing his feelings for you. Telling you that he's in love with you. I keep seeing stuff, too, about um, a letter. And also a bouquet of flowers or something to do with flowers. I was hearing a message today. I was hearing... Um, I was hearing French again. I don't know why. Uh, I've been hearing a few French words. So it was like beaucoup de fleurs. Sorry if I said that terribly. So a lot of flowers. That's what I was hearing. Um, so I do feel like someone has like a bouquet of flowers to give you or a letter. There's something about that that keeps coming out. Um, so that could be significant in terms of how someone contacts you. But I am seeing like he's on this path to contact you. It was just getting over that last bit of ego that he has to do. But I'm seeing that he has overcome an obstacle, guys. Like, you both have. Like, when you overcome this Divine Feminine, you're, he's also overcoming something at the same time. Um, I'm seeing he's overcome this obstacle with his karmic people. And now the next obstacle is just to get over his ego and speak to you, basically, at this point. Um, and that's why this third person is important here. That's why they play a role as a catalyst here. Um, and helping this all move forward. So Spirit's got a whole plan here. You just gotta, like continue to trust regardless i know it's so hard but you have to continue to trust is what spirit's saying 
And um, when this masculine does come forward, I keep seeing, again, stuff about a church, um, something about marriage, again and again, something about a proposal. I pulled a ring card, like, three times today. <laughs> um, so that keeps coming out. Uh, what else? Um, also, something about, again, a garden or near water. I was hearing river bend today. Or, no, river... Yeah, river or river bank. That's what I was hearing. And I keep hearing river. Um, so I feel like something's near a body of water where you guys meet again or something, or this masculine invites you to. Um, there has to be something to do with water or someone lives near water. Um, and then also even could be a water fountain. Very specific. It was just in one of the cards. But um, yeah, so this masculine, like, guys, he has so many feelings for you, so please don't think that he has no feelings. He is just keeping them extremely well hidden. Like, I, it, that's all I'm seeing in his readings. Like, he's keeping them so guarded to himself, but it's because there's a plan that Spirit has, and he will basically release them to you, release all of these feelings when Spirit says, okay, go ahead. Like, so I feel like, yeah, this friend was here for a reason, um, if this hasn't happened yet, this conversation with this friend, then it's going too soon. And that is going to be the last push this masculine needs to basically um, express himself to you. And um, other messages in this reading, I was also saying this masculine sees you as someone very intelligent, um, very creative. He sees like you could be uh, an entrepreneur or like have your own business or something, um, or you could just be someone very witty, very clever. Uh, he also sees you as very successful, very driven. That's what he admires about you, like your drive for life kind of thing. Um, but yeah, and Spirit's saying like this masculine knows where he has to go. Like he knows. he The Spirit is guiding him. He is not alone on this path. Like there is guidance for him through this friend, through Spirit. Um, yeah, so he's not alone in this. Um, but yeah, let me see if I have any other messages. I wrote a few things down earlier so I wouldn't forget um yeah i was also getting a message like spirit saying he's on target like this masculine's on target to get to where he's supposed to so like i said you guys are not off path even if you feel like you're off path you aren't like you're still on the right path um regardless of what you've been feeling lately um yeah this masculine is just trying to work up the confidence honestly like that's all it is is trying to work up the confidence to speak to you and express himself to you and there could still be, like, the odd person in the background, like, family members um, talking about, like, family values or their traditions or something to do with religion, being like, oh, well, like, we're different cultures or we do it, we've always done it this way. But, like, I don't see him listening to any of these people anymore. Like, he's very much cut off all the negative people in his life, I feel, or is just disregarding their opinions at this point. Um, so I wouldn't worry about that. Like I said, the only person he seems to really be listening to is this close friend here right now, um, which is a good thing. Um, yeah, and also Spirit says, like, what's happening right now is alchemy. Like, something new is forming from something old. Um, something is unfolding right now. Like, right now. I don't know. I'm just seeing, like, something could be significant in April or um, the next month. Just something is happening very soon, I feel, because there's not much else to hold this masculine back after he overcomes his ego, I feel. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, my cat is, like, everywhere right now. Luca, can you go down? Anyways, I feel like that's most of the messages. Oh, my gosh, my cat. <laughs> Luca. Okay, I love you. Leave her go down. Um... So I think that was most of the messages, but um, we'll go over just the channel messages that I had as well here, guys. Um, and then we'll, you know, get into the members reading after. Uh, so we'll just go through the few that I did have. These were over the last uh, couple days, just for reference. Um, a couple of them were from today too, but they were yesterday and the day before as well. So, okay, I was hearing something about... Also, I'm just going to check my camera. I always do this. I can never trust it. Um, okay, I was hearing something about Tampa Bay... I was hearing gateway, uh, something about a guard dog, temperature controlled. I was hearing Le Monde, another French term, and it means the newspaper. So again, something about the news, guys. I keep saying something could be in the spotlight. I was also hearing uh, public or publication today as well. Um, I was hearing rush hour, something about a mouth guard. Someone could be in uh, like wrestling. I did get in the past reading something about a UFC fighter. So someone could like the UFC or be into wrestling or into like boxing or something like that. Um, I was hearing pug. Someone could have a pug or be getting a pug. Also heard tiki bar. I've heard that a few times lately. I don't know what that's about. Um, traveler's license, New Hampshire, mentor, fellowship program. 
Um, I was hearing London Warehouse, Steam Room, Glaucoma. Um, I also very clearly heard Fresh Coat of Paint, which has to do with Benjamin Moore, which I've been hearing as well. Again, um, someone could be painting something. I was hearing Destabilize, Water Balloon, Gas Sticker. I don't know what that's about. Um, Guatemala. I was hearing a lot of places. Guatemala, Cambodia, Central America, South, Southern south asia um i also was hearing uh today west african i don't know what that's about why all their different places all of a sudden uh maybe someone's talking about something i also was hearing firebird type of car maybe uh i was hearing wellness check as well hi luca <laughs> i also keep hearing this same message it's like kohrabi k robbie Kohrabi. So I think it could be just the vegetable, but it also could be someone's name or something like Kohrabi, Kohrabi. I don't know. But anyways, could just be someone likes the vegetable. Uh, I also was hearing viral sensation. Someone could end up being a viral sensation for something. I was hearing outhouse, drug test, screening, Svensson, like S-V-E-N-S-O-N, Svensson. Rocky Shores, something about Mount Columbus, Ohio. Is that even two, two of the same places in Mount Columbus? Is that in Ohio? I don't even know. I literally just heard that whole term. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know places at all, guys, by the way. Um, I was hearing letter. So I told you guys something about a letter you could receive. Um, I keep hearing something about drilling holes as well. I don't know if someone works in like an oil company or like someone's irrigating their lawn. I don't know. Um, high levels i was hearing someone works in a high level stress role like whatever their job is it can be very stressful um i also heard duration of your stay someone could be staying at a hotel or something uh i was hearing ridicule audience filing complaints something about a slipknot a do-rag i was hearing chance the rapper pirated like pirated music or something like that pirated videos um i also heard i told you guys beaucoup de fleurs bouquet or which means a lot of flowers or also could have just been i was hearing like bouquet of flowers maybe um something about a graveyard i don't know where that comes into play luca he's so determined to climb on the cards i don't know why hi can you just sit with me um i was hearing hydrangeas specifically for flowers hydrangeas um cindy crawford a display something about designer handbags also was hearing mi milieu milieu which, oh, I forget what that means. Sorry, guys. I don't remember. You have to look it up. That's a French word, milieu. I'm sure, I think Daniel's French. Maybe you'll know <laughs> if you're watching this reading. Um, I don't know if that means, like, years or... Okay, no, I'm not even going to attempt it. No, I don't remember. Um, I was hearing limited edition, sandals, resort, and spa. I also was hearing Daphne. I heard that twice, that name. Um, okay, and then a few other messages I was hearing were Nautica trapped uh mint green voyager i was hearing creole which isn't that like a, a mix of i don't know if it's english spanish or french and something it's kind of like a mixed language right um i was hearing symbolism glass door precision tory tory lanes publication uh public knowledge like i told you guys dentistry school uh something about bab babka babka like that bread it's like a mixed color bread um a riverbank i told you guys and then west africa so those are all the messages that i have for you guys today um anyways i hope you enjoyed this reading i feel like the whole message of this reading is stay positive um you know keep trust in the universe if you do believe that this is your story um but yeah i hope you found this helpful um thank you guys for your support on my channel in any way possible it always means a lot to me so you know like comment subscribe if you do enjoy the video uh leave a comment if it resonates i always love hearing you guys your guys stories um when it does resonate it means a lot uh and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one um oh also sorry join membership as well if you want to um hop over for the second part of this message we'll go over some more uh details about this reading so again if it resonates with you jump over to members right after this video uh, and we'll go over more details. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Right? Bye.